Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how the pagination now it's working uh, inside the bootstrap view. It's the way where I can make the like the previous video where we have the pagination uh, and trigger something. Now we basically have the navigation for the pagination. So you can build your own custom functions. And that's what uh, you want to show today. And I really hope you will like it and I really hope you want to subscribe. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can click on the thing below in the right corner. Then you get subscribed for my channel and you'll get more videos from me. Thank you so much and let's go ahead. So let's go uh, go ahead and create the first uh, the pagination. So we say v pagination and then we want the navigation here. What we want, it's a link gen. It's the... It's, it's, link it inside to the function we, we point for and when you click on something then it will be pointed here to, to us number of pages is 10 and what i want is say use router when you do this it will automatically use the the view router so you don't need uh, need that uh, handle that at yourself so it's do it a bit more easier if we can say that. So scrolling down for the methods, and inside the methods we want to build the link gen button, and we want to say page num. And what we're gonna do now is say page num is equal to one. And then we want to say question mark else we want to say question mark page which equal. Uh, page equal to page number. and that should be the first example here and let's go back for the browser and see how it's working and you can see it's working pretty well you can see here this is the URL and if I'm changing it it will change the URL here so if I'm having some uh, some trigger point to, to listen for this page then I will call it when it happened. Let's go back for the editor again. So the next step we, we're gonna do now is uh, we create one more. And we we'll say it to link gen 2 and then we're going down here and and copy this function and just say link gen 2. And uh, what we can do we can do now is basically almost the same. If you wanted to to a link, so then you can just say hello world page number. I'm going back for the this one. I can just say this one. You can see the route now because we don't have creating the route, so it will make a blank page, but it's changed the URL up here, and uh, that's how it's working. Let's go back for the editor and make the last example. And we will call it link tree. And then we have it here. And uh, we, we could basically do this return and set it back here and say the path should be hello world 2 and then we want to query here and we have the page is equal to page here in this way we can change the the way we display the URL so we have the little little more programming but remember all uh, those two functions here it's based on the root so it will just give me the blank pages when we are working with it because we're testing it up here so see hello world and it's sending the query page uh, to so it's sending me insights for the hello world route and we'll sending the, the query with the with the page number we, we click on so that's how it's working and 
again remember this is the route so you need to create it inside the, the route folder here I uh, don't have this in this tutorial so that's why it's not want to work thank you so much and I really hope to see you next time and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner below just click on the thing and of course I really hope you want to share and like this video so everybody can see you have watching it did you have any questions please make them in the comments below I'll try to answer them thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye